What is a compiler in programming? Well, it helps to know what a computer looks like. And a computer mostly looks like this. It's just a processor with some bits that surround the processor. But the processor is the heart of the computer. The processor takes very specific kinds of instructions. The instructions look a little something like you see on the screen there, which is 24002A0, etc. That's hex code, and underneath all that are ones and zeros. Now, obviously, to a human, this is unreadable and unwritable. But to some weird humans, they can actually read that, and some can actually write it. And when computers started, you know, way back when, 100, well, maybe not 100, 70 years ago, the unreadable, unwritable stuff was what you actually had to write and read. So pretty horrendous. But we've come a long way since then. And pretty soon we realized that we can't actually write instructions like this. So we need to write it in a more human readable language. And that is the genesis of the programming language. So to take three examples, C Sharp, Kotlin and Swift, what you need is to get from those to those hex code instructions for the processor to execute. And how you do that is the compiler. The compiler does what it does on that readable language in programming and then creates machine code out of it for a specific type of CPU. So if I'm running this on a 64-bit CPU, I can't run that same program on a 32-bit CPU. I'm not sure about vice versa because Windows allows you to do that kind of thing. But it's very specific when you compile stuff. So a compiler takes you to machine code. Now, if you are in an interview and they ask you this question, do you know what the death knell is? The, the sound of your approaching doom is when you say a compiler is an interpreter for our programming language to give us machine code. You are totally off the mark there because an interpreter is something different to a compiler. It does the same thing but when it does it is different. And I'll get into that in a different video. So never use the word interpreter when you're asked about a compiler.